There is a power struggle in Berlin, but this time it's between the authorities and the criminal underworld. It's claimed that Arab crime clans are infiltrating the police and undermining their reputation. And the media says they're proving successful at it. Here's our Europe correspondent, Peter Oliver. A parallel society with parallel justice being meted out by a mafia don. The Arabic clans of Berlin's underworld have apparently gained so much influence that they're challenging the power of the state. And that has got alarm bells ringing in the city prosecutor's office. The damage is already done. Now the clans are making sure that confidence in state power is dwindling. The latest method being used to erode the power of the police while cementing their own is to use their power base against the police. That strength lies in Berlin's drug trafficking, protection rackets and prostitution. And it's the latter that's being used to attack the reputation of police officers. Rumours have been spreading about police and prostitutes, aiming to show police officers in a bad light. For example, that they have given drugs to prostitutes for information. Once it's out there, it is very difficult to dispel it. People see corrupt cops in Hollywood and think, yes, that could happen, even if we have very clear evidence to prove it's not true. The Arab clans have become such a part of the tapestry of the German capital that they were recently featured in a hit TV show. Deine Familie macht Menschen kaputt mit Drogen und Erpressung. Hey, kapiert das, Mann? Das ist unsere Ecke. Die Hasenhalde und der Görlitzer Park gehört uns. In Berlin sieht man jetzt Arabisch. The police point out that real life is far crueler and violent than any fiction. The clan's main weapon is intimidation. But just recently we saw a passerby shot and injured in a shootout between gangs. If you hear shots being fired in Berlin, 80% of the time it's clans. We've seen police officers testifying against clan members and being threatened right in the courtroom. If you stand against them, expect to be visited by them and for threats to be made against you and your family. The clans have become emboldened over the last few years, being linked to or investigated in more and more ambitious crimes, like the daring heist on an upscale Kudam jewellers and the theft of a 100 kilo gold coin from the Boda Museum, but how to open up a group that uses violence to guarantee silence. We need to track the money like they did with the Mafia in Italy. We should make it so people have to prove where the cash comes from. Now a person can claim all the unemployment benefits available, but be driving a Lamborghini and say it was a gift from his brother, even though the real money is coming from criminal enterprises. With the police feeling hamstrung by allegations against officers and the clan's influence on the up, we have to ask who wins in the increasingly unequal battle for the streets of Berlin. Peter Oliver, RT.